Mahmoud and welcome to the second episode of our sound and clothes tutorial series. In this episode we will use XP sound modifier with the help of XP vertex map together as a team and also with the support of XP sound displacement modifier and XP dynamic tag to create our audio reactive clothes simulation. In this episode we will use emitter as an object to map our XP sound displacement onto the clothes surface. In previous episode we have used XP infection modifier with the help of XP actions to map our sound displacement modifier on our clothes surface. But in this episode we will use XP vertex map. If you have missed the episode 1, don't worry, you can find the direct links in the video descriptions. Now it's time to play and make our first move. Here we have a simple plane with the 500 and 500 width and height and the segment 60 and 60. I rename it and call it close. Now we'll create our XP system. Here, let's drag our plane or our close here and we will rename our XP emitter and we will call it our audio emitter because this emitter will be influenced only by XP sound modifier. Let's change the color. Let's make it red and also the particle color we change it to red. In editor displays we change to the circle and in emission we will keep it in rate and bit rate. Let's make for example 200 and speed will make 0. We do not need any speed here. In object we will change the width and the height exactly like our plane here. 500 and 500 and the emitter plane direction we will change to plus y. Let's move our emitter a little bit to the bottom of our plane and now if we plane you see that particles are created but they do not have any speed because in emission we put already zero to speed and we want the speed to be controlled by our XP sound modifier. Let's make here 200 frames and in modifier we will select our control modifier. Now we will add our XP sound modifier. Here we need to upload our music or our sound effect. Just here click and upload. After upload your music, now we need to go to our map sound. Here we should add our map sound. The first parameter that we need to add is speed. And now if we play, you see that particles are reacting to the music and they are changing the position based on our sound effect. The second parameter that we need here is to make a little bit random the size of our particle. So here we will add another parameter and here we will select the radius. Here in speed we have parameters that we can play minimum and maximum. Maximum if you make 200 will make the particles move faster. And also here the radius minimum and maximum. Here you can make the minimum size and the maximum size of the circles. Let's make here 5 and also the maximum for example 15. And now if you play you see we have between 5 to 15 centimeter the size of the particles. You can always art direct and play with it and choose the right size based on your sound and your music. And also with the dB range. Here if you make the speed dB range for example 100 and now let's play. You see almost all of particles are reacting to the sound and if you make the dB range for example 7 and play again you see that the less number of particles are reacting to the sound. Let's make for example 30 for now. Let's keep these parameters for now and anytime we can back again to these parameters. Now we need to add our XP vertex map. Here we will select our XP vertex map. Here in object we just drag our close here. Let's delete the polygon here and if you select the close you see that here we have automatically created a tag for us and all of the surface turning to red. Let's select again XP vertex map and here close and now here we need select the X particle and in X particle here we need an object and the object here will be this time our audio emitter because we want this audio emitter create the mapping on our surface. Let's drag it here and as soon as we drag it here you see that uh, the surface is uh, creating the map for us. Now let's play. The mapping on the surface is created by our audio emitter which is affected by our XP sound modifier. Now it's time to turn our plane to the real close. So we select our plane here, we right click 
and in extension in CDM tag we will add our XV dynamic tag. If we select our XV dynamic tag here, we have rigidity. Let's make this for now only one and distribution we can keep it for now as it is and the constraint we will structure constraint will just activate. And here in emitter properties, we just add an emitter. Let's rename it and call it surface emitter because this will be on our surface and will be interact and influenced by XP sound displacement. So in modifier, in motion modifier, we just here we will add XP sound displacement. And here sound file, we just need to add our sound or sound effect here. Just click here and add your music. For XP sound displacement and XP sound, I have selected the same sound effect. Here in XP sound displacement, play sound during animation, I deactivate, loop, I deactivate, use samples, keep it as it is for now, scale down and sensitivity. Let's make sensitivity 1.5. A scale down we keep for now and to be able to listen in timeline the music and have control to turn on and off by this icon I will select here from effectors the sound effectors just drag it here and here I will also load the same sound effect that we have here just click here and load your sound effect and now we have these three exactly same sound effect but now let's play and see how will be reaction of our plane to the music and our sound effect. Is not what we want here, then what is the problem? The problem is that XP sound displacement is affecting the whole surface and this is not what we wanted. We should map our XP sound displacement. The solution is just select XP sound displacement and in the fill we will drag our map tag here and just drag it here. And now let's play again. You see it's a little bit better, but still we have second problem. The second problem is that our audio emitter also is affected by XP sound displacement. So we need to exclude our audio emitter from XP sound displacement. Our audio emitter is only influenced by XP sound modifier. So for this, we will select our audio emitter and in modifier, and we will drag our XP sound displacement here. Our audio emitter is not influenced by XP sound displacement. And if we select our surface emitter, we can also exclude it from XP sound. Audio emitter is excluded from sound displacement and surface emitter is excluded from XP sound. The surface emitter is only influenced by XP sound displacement and audio emitter is influenced only by XP sound. You see, it's much better, but we have another problem. It's getting totally out of shape. And if you select here, constraint also is activated. The solution is only Ctrl D. And if you select Ctrl D, X particle, here the subframe step and iteration. We need to add to subframe step. Let's make here, for example, 4 and iteration 4. You see it's a little bit much better and it's keeping its position and also structure. Let's make subframe steps to 3 and also iteration 3. And now let's play again. Now when we are done with our system and creating everything, we can spend time a little bit to play with other parameters and art direct or close simulation and get the best out of it. For example, here we have our XP sound parameters, the map parameter speed and also map parameters radius. Here I have put DB range 40 and the maximum speed 250 and also for the radius here minimum 15 and the max 60. Here also in audio emitter, this red emitter that we have here, we can also play with it. For example, the birth rate here is 200. Let's make it only 50 and the object, you can also change the shape from rectangle to other shapes or you can select only emit from the edges. 
Let's I hide audio emitter and also surface emitter to see better in preview. You see, because we are only emitting from the edge of our emitter, first part of our clothes that they already acting to the sound or edges and this is great to art direct and easily playing with the audio emitter shape and also emitting from the edges only or from the center you can easily create a new audio reactive clothes simulation Now let's select our audio emitter and just change the emitter shape to for example a sphere and let's move it to the center of our plane and here is our emitter and from the center we'll be emitting the particles. With just changing the emitter shape from rectangle to a sphere and with just one click we have created a new sound close simulation. If we want our clothes stay on its original position we just need to add a collider here. Easily we will create a, just a cube here with the size 500 and also 500 and here 100 just drag our cube here in utility let's rename it to collider with the c on keyboard we turn it to a poly object and here we just select and also with the selection tools just top and the bottom now with only delete and Control a we select all of the polygons right click and extrude and now we add a little bit thickness to it only we must be sure that our collider here is attached to our plane. Just here we select all the object with the T. We scale it a little bit down until they are attached. Now we select our collider, just right click and we'll add our XP collider. And here normals we will select any and connect on collision we selected. One more step is that this collider tag will affect audio emitter and surface emitter and we want it only affect the surface emitter and audio emitter should not be affected for this we just select here and also exclusion and we will exclude our audio emitter here In this project, I have exactly used the same technique that we have talked about it. Here we have our clothes, just a simple plane with the 3500 and height 1500 and segment 80 and 80. And also I have added a XP dynamic tag here. The distribution is the default one and rigidity zero and constraint structure constraint is activated. And also here I have add an emitter and I've called it surface emitter and this surface emitter or this blue particles are attached to our plane here and also here I have added XP vertex map and I have dragged our clothes here and add X particle vertices and object I have dragged our audio emitter here and our second emitter which is our audio emitter the emitter shape is just a simple circle with ring only activated and also cone angle 90 and emitter plane X plus and emission is just rate birth rate 250 radius 100 and variation 15 and here we have XP sound modifier just scale down 150 and displacement axis I have selected Z and sensitivity 1.5 and here in the field I have just dragged here the map that we have already created with XP vertex map and use it as a field here for our XP sound displacement and here we have XP sound with the map sound parameter I have added here speed 
DB range 70, maximum is 600, and also radius, the DB range again 70, minimum 100, maximum 300, and also I have added the map parameter emission to add more particles when the sound effects also is playing and create more turbulence on our closed surface. And finally, I have added subdivision surface and closed surface to our plane to make it more smooth. Here you can select subdivision surface and closed surface. And here I have created a simple collider to hold the plane at its original position. And I've added here a collider tag, normals to any, connect on collision activated and in exclusion I have excluded our audio emitter.